The stranger said, take care of those you care about the most. The door was sealed shut. The old gate was locked. The crow held its shining trophy tight. He was nestled between the reeds, but it was just out of reach. The stranger whispered, Ever feel like you are being watched? I've never felt that. What does it feel like? Is it nice? It sounds nice. The worm looked helpless, with no way to escape. As Ember picked it up, the worm let out a little yelp. Inside was a scrap of journal. The strangers on the water went on without me. Where have I landed? Vines and thorns stretch out to trip me. The Wanderer's Diary. Unfamiliar trees, a path overgrown. Is this a resting place? A place between places? I call out, but mine is the only voice.
broken net hung ominously around the skeleton's neck. Stranger shivered in the cold. They'd moved through such dark places. They lay down and closed their eyes. Warmth was a distant memory, stolen by the passing miles. The stranger blinked at Embo. Is it morning already? How long have I been asleep? The stranger blinked at Embo. Is it morning already? How long have I been asleep? Barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding. And on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. The ember was curious. Where did you wake up? I'm headed for the crossroads. It's not far, I think. I've heard there's a nest there, a safe place.
The fisherman murmured quietly between soulful breaths. The fisherman felt so useless. His former joys were hollow. Sitting out there every day by the pond. Only the dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, a glimmer flickered. A thought beating like a drum. A thought that went round and round. It all started with a frog. Every day by the pond, a constant reminder. For a brief moment, the fisherman struggled to speak. He looked at Embo, hopeful. The fisherman spoke softly. There's a frog in that pond, a big one. Saw him grow from a tadpole. We were friends of a sort. Spent every day side by side. So much better at fishing than me, that frog is. Catches them before I can bait them. Oh, it makes me feel useless some days. The fisherman sighed. I've wasted so much time feeling like this. The old man looked carefully at the pond, at their rod, at Ember. Well, listen to me here, rambling on and on. It helps, though, telling someone. Thank you, Amber. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. You saw the frog? Did the frog mention me? You ask the frog about me, see what they say. Actually, no, just... Please don't tell the frog how much I talk about them. Poor little worms. They didn't ask to be here. But how do you fish without them? One for me, one for the fishes. Slurp him down. They say catching a fish isn't the point. So I tell myself that. I tell myself that a lot. I chased old Blue Betty round this pond for years. Best days of my life catching that fish. Had to use myself as bait. Stuck on me head ever since. The fisherman noticed the broken net Ember was carrying. Let me have a look. See what I can do. With a silk thread, the fisherman carefully knotted it together. With each knot he tied, a net began to form. Here you go. Good as new. Oh. 
The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. This was not how Embo had imagined the end. The gurgling of water, a deafening heartbeat. But then... The fog returned Ember's good deed by leading them to a lost forlorn. The stranger stood alone. Their friends have fallen aside, retreating from what came next. The stranger had ventured on. They were deep in the woods. It felt so pointless. The stranger spoke hesitantly. Is the campfire crowded? Let me gather myself. I'll see you there. Ember found the wanderer's diary. The oily smell of frogs. They know more than they will say. They watch me watching them. The stranger spoke. You look hungry, friend. You bring any broth with you? There's a cook in the swamp. Makes a broth like you wouldn't believe. Keep telling them that it doesn't taste right. They'll keep giving you more.
he was nestled between the reeds. But it was just out of reach. The old gate was locked. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Stranger gasped for breath. Dark water slipping above their head. The sea didn't care if they sank or swam. Slowly the tides ebbed, washing over old wharves. emerging from the inky depths. Ember reached out a hand. Stranger, look down. The ground feels good beneath my feet, friend. 